once you've finished assembling your entire project, you can then export the video out as one single file. While you're working on your project, of course, you can look at it at times if you want to and export it too to test it. But always keep in mind that you want to save as long as you think you may ever want to come back and edit your project again and possibly change and take something out or whatever. Always keep that file, the original Premiere file, so you can come back and make edits to it. But once you are ready for the project to be uh, exported, where you can then upload it to YouTube, Facebook, or anywhere like that, uh, in our case, you would export it so we can use it um, with the class, but also then export it to, to a place on YouTube. Uh, what I'm going to do is show you how to do that export. Um, so you'll open up the project, and one of the things you want to make sure is to click and make sure that your timeline is active. That way it knows that the video is ready to be exported. So we have this one. I've, I've uh, got things the way that I want to, at least for now, to go ahead and export. So all we need to do is go up to File and choose Export, and we'll choose Media. When we do that, it opens up a whole new dialog box called Export Settings. And there's one setting that you want to use in general for this class project. Whenever you go here to Format, so you will choose Format, then you will choose H.264. This is a, a compression type of a, a format that will that has a whole lot of choices. If you wanted to compress for an iPhone, you could specifically compress just to, to be used um, to put up on a, on a uh, website for iPhone purposes or any type of um, output device almost nowadays they have all these choices so we're going to choose this one H.264 so we're going to select that and then there are many as I mentioned presets with this so we're going to click on right here preset we're going to choose preset and we're going to scroll down and as you notice there's a whole lot of different ones for Apple TVs, iPads, iPhones of all different sizes according to the size of course that affects the the file size itself too when you choose different sizes as far as 720 versus a 360 if you're just uh, wanting your audience to watch it on an iPhone uh, those types of things in 360 would be enough pixels whereas if you think that anyone's going to watch it on a bigger device a computer screen a TV or something like that then you can get into higher resolutions and HD resolutions where you get into the the 720s the 960s what we're going to do is go ahead and we're going to choose to output this for YouTube purposes and we're going to choose to uh, do it for HD which would be the 1080p so we're going to choose that setting right there that's going to give us a very high quality video that will look good when projected up on the screen and also used in any other media. So we're going to choose that one. Then after we choose the actual preset that we selected as we chose the YouTube 1080p, the next thing that we want to be sure we do before we uh, go ahead and and export the video we want to make sure that you have your output name as you desire um, so we can do that by selecting right here and this is the default name and it was called red square one that's okay but the other thing that you want to make sure of is that you save it somewhere where you can then find it so for my situation I'm going to go ahead and choose desktop because I'm going to independently upload this to YouTube myself I'm going to choose desktop and then choose save that has essentially told it where we want it to save and that way we can move it and put it into another folder later but that we can e easily get to it on the desktop one other thing to mention here is that if you choose publish if you go in you can actually put in your YouTube account information where you would like it to be uploaded and all that and you can then publish it straight to YouTube right from uh, this location right here but um, we're not going to do that for now but that is just something for, for you to know that you could go in and select put in your login information any other details if you want this video to be unlisted 
um, unlisted means that people will not be able to do a search and find your video and the only ones that can watch it are ones that actually have received the URL for that video from you um, and then anyone else that it's shared with it's not anything someone has to log into but that's what the privacy means for that um, just wanted to mention that and then you have public where it's general then private would mean that someone would have to have a login to get to your video but uh, that's the YouTube um, that's how you could actually load something just to YouTube for our purposes we're going to go generally here under video we're going to go up here we've, we've selected this so we're now ready to choose export and we'll choose export and it will go through here and we'll just be able to watch the encoding going on and once it's finished with that you'll be able to just jump right over to your desktop and you'll be able to see that file and that's the file that we will want to have for class purposes so it can be uploaded on YouTube and also to bring to class on a either on the actual laptop or bring it on a, a memory stick